John Davis in West Virginia writes to me, Paul, should I be using power amps for a four-channel speaker system of equal measure? Similar to the Infinity IRS-5, my RS-1B speakers need four channels of amplification. I have a Krell KSA-200 on the mid-high towers and a Class MDA-400 for the base columns. Well, um, they are similar to the IRS, and yes, you need for those Infinity products, the RS-1Bs, of which I owned a pair, that was actually the first set of Infinities that I ever owned was the RS-1Bs. And they're the kind of the mini tower, the step down from the IRS betas, and the IRS betas were the step down from the IRS-5, which of course you know we have. So IRS-5, IRS beta, IRS, RS-1Bs. And those were good speakers. I, I, they never lived up to my expectations because I had gotten involved with Infinity hearing the big guys, the, the IRS threes at the time with Harry Pearson's house. And so the RS ones were as much as I could afford, even at the generous discount that Arnie Nudell at Infinity gave me. But still, they were always a little disappointing to me. But yes, they needed a second set of amplifiers. And you don't need to match them. I mean, sonically, it would be great. Like if I were doing it, I would have identical amplifiers on it so that we have the same sound characteristics. But because it's the bass columns, it's not quite as important. But if you're going to have a more powerful amplifier, put those on the bottom end. So those aren't the same as the IRS betas and the IRS fives in that those former two that I just talked about used a servo, an actual accelerometer, for the servo system. And that measured how the woofers are moving in real time, uses feedback to compensate for it. The, uh, the RS1s don't use a servo. The RS1s use a dual voice coil and they, they used a, was it a dual voice coil? Actually, I don't remember, but the, I, what I do remember is they used what I used to call the unbalanced bridge. So think about <clears throat> a, a, a bridge, okay? So here, here's our bridge, and there's, you know, four points on the bridge. And two of these points are fixed resistors, okay? <clears throat> the other two points, one is the voice coil, and the other is a fixed resistor. Now, you can imagine in this bridge, as the voice coil moves up and down, these remain fixed. This ratio here remains fixed. And this, when it's idling, this ratio remains fixed. As soon as this speaker, this voice coil starts doing its thing, the impedance changes. And so you get the bridge becomes unbalanced. Now, if we take the output of that bridge and we compare it to a fixed bridge, there's a difference. That difference goes into a difference amplifier and it makes a correction so that it's a form of a servo. It's actually measuring re in real time what that woofer is doing from an impedance standpoint. And it doesn't measure actual acceleration or velocity, but it gets you close. And that's what's happening in your RS1s. So yeah, uh, it would be great. Like a, a, if, if, you, if you could, a couple of BHK 300s. Ooh. And if you really could afford it, put a pair of BHK 600s on those woofers and a pair of BHK 300s on those upper ones. And I wish I had those available because I'll bet that is going to bring some music into your life that you would not believe. So anyway, thanks for the question. Have fun. I'll talk to you later.